Hey, Bastish BF for 64K, and welcome to another episode of How To. Welcome to 64K, hosted by Bastish B. And welcome back. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to download, extract, and install an image on a Raspberry Pi. And as per usual with this series, I try to make it as simple and basic as possible. These videos are aimed for people who know nothing about the subject at all, newbies. So don't feel intimidated. We'll go through it step by step very slowly and get you up and running. Okay, so first up, we're going to download a few simple programs. These are going to be needed to put the image on your Pi. Some of these you may already have, so it might make this process a lot easier. So let's go check those out. So the first program you're gonna need is BitTorrent, so go to BitTorrent.com. So this program makes it possible for you to download the image off the internet. So you just wanna scroll down and select the free basic edition and download that. And next we're going to need the SD card formatter, so head over to sdcard.org and download this. This is needed so you can format your micro SD card to put the image on. Go to downloads and then you just select which one is appropriate for you and download that. And lastly head over to balana.io and you're going to download the Balana Escher program. What this basically does, it flashes or copies the image onto your SD card for you and it checks it to make sure it's formatted right. So just go down there and download your appropriate version as per usual. Links to all these downloads will also be in the video description, so don't worry about remembering them. You can just go from there. Okay, now that we've got all the software we need, let's go and download an image. So we're going to head over to arcadepunks.com. This is the best place to get images for your Raspberry Pis. As you can see, there is tons and tons of images here. You can go look at them all and see what different types they have. They have different ones for par 4s and par 3s, etc, etc. So you want to go to this front end part. And then from there you can choose like you want to get images for the par 3 or images for the par 4. We're going to go for images from the par 3 for now because there's a lot more available and there's ones that are much smaller in size as well and that's what we want to do. I highly suggest you go for something smaller for your first kind of image burn. In case something goes wrong you're not going to be wasting too much of your time. So here you can see the size of the images so obviously we want to go for something small this over here if you click on that it gives you more information about the image what's available in it what type of games and that's the torrent it'll immediately start downloading the image so we're going to go for a 32 gig image that's not too big and it's not too small it's just a medium size one i found one that has a really nice selection of consoles and games and it's quite a lot of them and it's 32 gig it's not too big so remember just make sure your card your micro sd card is either 32 gig or higher you're going to need that to burn it so we're going to go for the king of the 32 gig image here this is really cool so let's find out some more information information about it and if you scroll down here it's got a YouTube video so you can click on that and you can watch it and then you'll be able to see what systems are available on there and how many games per thing and he has a little bit more of a description so just go back to the previous page and click on the torrent it'll automatically open BitTorrent and start downloading image for you and depending on how big it is is gonna just depend on how much time it's gonna take Okay, now while that's downloading, let's get your micro SD card formatted. So you're going to need an adapter to put this into your computer. The most common ones are these ones, these SD kind of cards. It kind of goes in like that. Done. And then that goes into your computer. You can also use one of these. This goes in here. That goes into your computer. You've sorted. You can get ones that are much smaller than this that are basically just the size of a regular USB kind of connector and you put the micro SD card at the back and put it into your computer whichever ones you have or whichever ones you can get that's all you need so after you put your card in your computer open up SD card formatter the one we downloaded at the top you can select your card it shows you the capacity of your card just make sure it's the right one you're formatting go down to quick format select that and then go down to the bottom and select format again this will only take a few seconds and it'll be done your card is now ready for the image burn 
And now that the micro SD card is set up, let's get the image ready to put on the card. And here's the image we downloaded through the torrent. It's in the IMG format. I chose this one specifically because it's just automatically in this format. If it wasn't, it'll be a whole list of kind of files. And then basically you just have to unzip it, right click on that file and unzip it and it will make it into an image file. And that's what you need for the next step. Okay, this is the last part. This is when we're finally gonna put that image onto your card and get you playing all those games. And now we open up the Balana Etcher program, the one we downloaded earlier. And you can see it says select image, SDHC card and flash. Those are all the steps you gotta go through. So let's first go to select image. We'll select the King32, the one we just downloaded, the torrent. Remember it has to be in IMG format, otherwise it's not gonna work. Then just take a look at your size and make sure your card is big enough. It'll automatically find your card for you so you don't have to look for it. And then next we go on to flash, which is gonna put it onto the card for us. Okay and once you hit flash it'll go to another page and it will display how long it's gonna take roughly. So this is all gonna be dependent on your computer, the actual card you got in there, how new it is, how fast it can transfer stuff and obviously how big the image is. So after it's done flashing it'll go into validation mode. This is just a double checking everything is working perfectly. This will take another 10-15 minutes. Okay once validation is done you should be greeted with flash complete. Make sure it says success Successful device if it says that then you're good to go okay so now all you have to do is take your micro SD card and put it on the pie and turn it on it'll load up automatically you don't have to do anything else it'll the initial load up will probably take like you know 30 seconds or so depending on how big the image is so just have a little bit of patience let it go through its first initial cycle at least it's usually longer and then you'll be up and running and you'll be playing your games and here's the image, it's busy unpacking itself. I put this in fast forward so we can just get straight to the point here. Just make sure you have a controller connected into the Pi so you can set up your game controller. I would suggest a PS4 controller, it works really well. And here is the main menu. I'm just going to let this scroll down and you can see every single system it has on here. If you look in the top right corner it tells you how many games are available for each system. This is a nice little starter pack. It's got a little bit of everything and a decent amount of games for each one. So I'm just going to let this go and you can see all the rest of the games and then we'll just test out one quickly just to make sure it all works. Okay, so we're gonna try an Amiga game here quickly. I'm just gonna go to Agony, it's the first one on the list. It's a pretty cool shoot 'em up. Okay, I've skipped the loading and the game looks like it works perfectly. And thanks for joining me, Bastish B at 64K. I hope you had a good time. If you can like and subscribe, they'll be greatly appreciated and I'll see you next time. Cheers.